Here's an announcement for you. Update 10.1 is out and it features a brand new announcements menu that's frankly making me very happy indeed. The black bars are gone, ladies and gentlemen. Those strange pinstripe suited pillar boxes that littered the sides of the informational screen and made it smaller than it needed to be are gone. And we have instead this broad pillar of information with a little bit of game in the background and scrolling animations just like we're out of some kind of advertising screen in a shopping centre and I really like this, not least because there's a lucky ticket stage on, for the new dynamic that it brings to finding out this information. It is now all at a glance and in fact literally just all at a glance, it's not scrolling anymore. You have all this information here and a series of events below the kind of posters for what Ponos Decree is most importantly going on. We've currently got best of the best on, guaranteed it seems. A little problem there and I guess in the sense it doesn't tell us how long these things last for. But we can scroll along these things here and click on each one which is fantastic and then there we go, we just keep clicking it and it tells you in more detail about it. Isn't that rather brilliant? I like that a lot. And then you can go back via the bottom. A little bit hard to press for some reason, but, 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 I'm not trying to be obtuse here, but the back button isn't working. Um, no. <laughs> Teething problems. But I tell you what, I don't half love what it's doing. On the second page are even more events. I guess that's fair enough, we've still got the bit up the top. I kind of would have preferred the ability to keep scrolling down. I love how you have all the information at a glance. I think it would have made more sense as a list of information to be able to scroll down it like basically all the other menus in the game, like the different stories of legend stages, the multitude of different boring user rank rewards, sorry Ponos, that you can get once you reach a high user rank. I just don't really get the, the moving forward on a page like that because the page system is just not something that the game usually does and you can't finger slide it either. In any case, I have no issue with the top bit. The top bit is lovely. My issue with the bottom bit, other than the difficulty in, in pressing the buttons, which look like they're far more suited to being browser buttons on a mouse pointer clicking sort of system than a tapping mobile device, is the fact that we don't have a distinction between capsule events and level events. We see down here at the bottom, event. Jingle Cat Bell plus Christmas in Space. That is undoubtedly a level playing stage but it says event next to it just like sale information and the festival for cat fruit catamine information all says event on it and that is not particularly useful or descriptive this could really do with a number of different categories for example festivals for festival and catamine event would definitely cover meow meow day probably Cats in the Snow and Jingle Cat Bell as well. And then half off sale, well that could be store, as it is in the Battle Cats menu that we very rarely go to. It would be very useful to have more different descriptors, so at a glance we could see the tag and then filter, before we even read the stuff, what information we're looking for. And it would also probably look more interesting because of the different colours as well. So I think that's the way that it could definitely be improved, but I'm so glad they're paying attention to this announcement stuff. It's the return of the pinstripes! No! <laughs> they're there at the bottom! And this, again, is why I think we really could do with a scrolling system. I mean, I get that this is a different category here. See, a different colour, right? A different tag. Update. And it tells us when the versions are. That's nice, I like that. But maybe it could be underneath a little separating bar at the bottom, just telling us when the updates are. Or this could be the only thing on a separate page. But I think keeping it all to scrolling makes a lot more sense, would prevent the need for these pinstripes and would look a lot nicer. So, can I find out about the update by clicking on update coming soon? Yes. After tapping on it many times, there's our nice tag at the top there, like that very much, and a 10.1 piece of information. And I think this is something I requested before, right? The whole page dedicated to the update, so thank you very much, Ponos. I agree with the excited design of the flashiness and the BAM stripes. I'm not a digital designer, I'm going to call them BAM stripes. Telling us that there's an update. Let's have a look. Cat-based development max cap level raised. Anna's telling us exactly what 
in the spirit of giving more specific information than you get in the app store. Fantastic. Sakura Sonic can get a cat fruit true form. Take that in note and find someone else to dedicate your eyes to for a few minutes if you'd like to watch Sakura Sonic's true form because I can e show you that. Return to cat base function improved. I like this full description because I'm not sure what that title is referring to exactly. To prevent the unintentional display of OS features during battle scenes, the swipe action to display the iOS home bar has been changed to a double swipe from the previous single swipe required. Oh, I think I know what this refers to. More cat talents to unlock. Develop mighty abilities for the high ranked cats of the following. Pi Pi, Surfer, oh that is exciting and stilts and then your usual more legend stages and the naming change i'm very glad that it just says legend stages rather than new stories of legend map as i think it said for a while despite us being in uncanny legends there's a bit of a formatting improvement which you know i love possibly more than gaming features themselves because i am such a gamer and then there's the usual user rank rewards and a single new cat combo filter new we love that we don't love that quite as much Scrolling through the all, I can't find it, and I'm pretty sure you don't have to find it yourself. That was phased out as a thing a long time ago, as far as I'm aware, but can't find it. So, as a very diligent, researchful video maker, we're going to move on and look at something else. Annoyingly, for me, this yes button for the outbreak is still close by, and it actually almost looks closer to the event, so you can be accidentally catapulted into these chapters. As brilliant a feature it is, I don't want it to activate when I'm not intending to use it. Oh well, Cats in the Snow is back and I feel like that is just about the most important thing. Let's put my fast slot on and try out this new iOS improvement that I think I'm aware of. So on the iPad here, it will be the dock. I mean, technically this is iPad OS, so maybe we can't do it here, but I would call it iOS. Usually you can scroll up from the bottom of the screen and it will actually start putting the dock upwards, but now it doesn't. Fantastic. Because when you did that, which would usually happen when you're swapping these menus about like this, it would put the pause menu on when you flick the dock back away, interrupting your battle. Not a massive inconvenience, but an inconvenience nonetheless. And Ponos have fixed that so that it takes me two movements up to find myself the dock. Stilts Cat, what are your talents? You can do a surge attack. Oh my goodness gracious me. Immune to waves. Oh my goodness gracious me. Resist freeze, defense buff, attack buff. Four. And you, Seafarer, you can freeze. Warp blocker. Oh heck yeah. Resist curse, defense buff, attack buff. Make it even more fancy Nantinalian. I thought I'd just check in the events menu because it says layout change to events notices, but I think that is purely the announcement bit. And this, therefore, might receive an update soon to fit much the same format. Will be exciting to find out if that happens in the near future. Holy Blast and Water Blast can be moved on. And while I still have absolutely no Ammonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonimonite, I'm going to develop my Water Blast base up. Fantastic! I do love leveling this stuff up. Update 10.1 then seems pretty fantastic. In fact, I'm going to go and say that I think it's already better than update 10. Not least for the fact that update 10 should have really been momentous for the big old change in number to double figures that it was. But this, even in isolation of an update, is more interesting, I think. The fact that they're revamping more of the visuals ticks my boxes. As you well know, I love all that visual improvement of the UI and such. User experience is something I find very interesting, and therefore I find this update very interesting. Lovely that they're having a go at reforming the announcement menu, making the game look more polished, and slowly phasing out the older, tired-looking parts of it. I'd be interested to know what you think, and perhaps, most interesting of all, what that mystery combo is. What's going on? Am I inept? Don't answer that. And with that, I bid you goodbye, and I hope you enjoyed.